And I'll find myself in times of trouble Mother Mary comes to me Speaking words of wisdom Let it be And in my hour of darkness She is standing right in front of me Speaking words of wisdom Let it be Let it be Let it be Let it be yeah, Let it be Whisper words of wisdom let it be All right, Let It Be by the Beatles off of their last album together. Of course, Paul played this one on the keyboards with Billy Preston coming in and George Harrison doing a nice solo in the middle. But we can do a pretty good simulation here on our guitars of this song, so let's let's give it a try. It's one of the easiest real songs, actually, once you get to know it. Here we go. It starts off on C. Let's do the chords first. When I find myself in G, times of trouble, A minor, Mother Mary, F comes to me, C, speaking words of G, wind and wisdom, let it F be, C, C, and in my power of G, darkness, she is standing right in F front of me, C, speaking words of wisdom, let it F be, now the chorus, let it A minor B, let it G B, let it F B, now let it C B, C, whisper words of G, wisdom, let it F B, C. And then for the beginning and ending, you just play F, C, G, C. That's it. You now know the whole entire song. And nice. So let's learn a little couple of riffs you can throw in on your guitar to make it sound a bit like the keyboard that Paul played. What I like to do is first of all do a squeeze pattern. So start on your C chord. I squeeze all the strings. And what I mean by squeeze, I use my thumb on the bass C string on the fifth fifth string. I use my three fingers on the bottom three strings and then I alternate with my first finger in this case on the fourth string. Okay, just follow that pattern. Squeeze one, squeeze four, squeeze four, squeeze four. And then do the same thing on the G chord but use the, the bass sixth string. Squeeze four, squeeze four. A minor same thing, fifth string bass, and then F, same thing but sixth string bass, C, squeeze four, squeeze four, G, squeeze four, squeeze four, F, four, four, C. So you can pretty much use that little squeeze Four, squeeze four pattern all the way through the song and it sounds pretty similar to the keyboard Paul used on the chorus it goes like this A minor and it is four, it's four G squeeze four F squeeze four squeeze four C squeeze four squeeze four C G squeeze four squeeze four F Almost there now. Only one little more riff we got to learn. He walks down from the F chord to the C chord with a little uh, double note run. It goes like this. Okay. So 
So start off with your first string, first fret, first finger, sec, uh, third string, second fret, second finger, and play those two strings at the same time. Okay, now both of those strings open. Then put your third finger on the second string, third fret. Put your second finger on the fourth string, uh, third fret. Same. Then back to open, open on one and three. Back to three, three on two and four. Then slide down to second string, first fret, fourth string, second fret. So from the top again. Open, open on second and fourth. Then first string on four, two, or excuse me, three, third string, second fret, and put your third finger on fifth string, third fret. And then go to your C chord and play third string and fifth string together. And that's all there is to it. Start start up at the top again. Very slowly. So simple but so beautiful, isn't it? What a great little run on the piano. And sounds good on guitar too. Alright, let's try it. From the uh, from the end, let's take the last part of the last verse and the last chorus. Here we go. And when the night is cloudy, there is still a light that shines on me. Shine until tomorrow. Let it be. I wake up to the sound of music. Mother Mary comes to me, speaking words of wisdom, let it be, let it be, let it be, let it be, yeah, let it be, there will be an answer, let it be, let it be, let it be. Let it be, yeah, let it be, there will be an answer, let it be. Let it be, have fun with that one.